Graffiti itself is just the application of a medium on a surface. I don't really use the term graffiti anymore because it's so negative and a, a lot of negativity surrounds the word so it really brings everything down. Um, I, I just use the term right now aerosol art because a lot of the stuff we're doing is a little bit more complex and it's also out of the box of the average graffiti. What do you think about graffiti? Um, I don't know. It's just like, like an art. Just paintings, pictures, yeah. Art form? Yeah. It is an art form now. It's a, it's a new medium that's out there. Um, a lot of the older people grew up with the fact of spray paint was used for graffiti. That was the only purpose. Um, now we have actual spray paint companies that support and sponsor artists. So um, in a sense, uh, you know, it's not their fault that they complain or have the cops come or harass. It's the fact that they're uneducated about the art and how it's evolved and where it is now. Why do you do it? Why? It's... To spread a positive message through my art, you know, transcend, manifest my energy into this can, transcend it to the wall, so people's perceptions can either come out good, clean, the way they want it, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's all a perception thing, you know? I'm 17 and a half. I barely even started to do any of this art. Well, I can probably do graffiti as a habit. You know, something. That's, as a hobby? Yeah, as a hobby. It's fun. It's exciting. It's different. <laughs> Not a lot of girls do it, like you said. Where do you do it? Why do you cho choose those locations? Where and why? Um, Where do you target? What communities? Yeah, okay. Communities, in a sense, obviously, you know, um, with the background of, of these lower income communities or um, I guess more interracial uh, communities, there's a lot more um, artistic background behind the culture. So um, therefore I, I stuck to a lot of the neighborhoods that would accept it rather than um, you know heading out to a lot of the uh, more richer, I guess you would say business or uh, Gosh, I don't want to use any negative terms, but at the same time, I just feel like I do it where I'd be appreciated, you know? I guess just a, a place where there's a lot of cultures that, that are diverse and, um, you know, accept the fact that, um, you know, they want artwork in their neighborhood or in their community because of the fact there's a lot of vandalism. Whereas some of the more upper class um, uh, communities, they don't have the problem with vandalism as much. Why do graffiti art? Do you, uh, do you do stuff about your culture or anything like that? What do you, what do, you do? Um, no. I don't do anything about culture. It's not really the, the hip hop culture. Yeah, basically, hip hop culture it has nothing to do with race. Right now, I see a lot of positive things. Um, MCing and DJing, as well as breakdancing, has really, you know, um, blow, blew up. It just blown up. Um, so, you know, I see graffiti taking the same steps. Do you feel that graffiti uh, is representative of your culture? Mm, I don't think do you, so. Do you think it was well, not. Isn't, there's, there are a lot of Hispanics that tag, but I, I've also seen African Americans. and I don't think it's just my cultural or my race. What I represent is, a, is basically a driven force that every person has, but um, a lot of people aren't willing or are um, insecure about doing um, anything about. So basically what I feel like I have, um, what I represent is, is uh, just a driven force to go out there and uh, you know create a piece of artwork and uh, eventually just you know litter the globe with my art.